Hello and welcome to Lowell Solicitors. If you wish to make a payment using a debit card, you can use our automated payment facility. If you wish to do this, press 1 or please hold and you'll be transferred to a member of our team. Please continue to hold and we'll... Hi, good afternoon. Uh, you're through to Craig at Lowell Solicitors. Can I take your reference number, please? Uh, I can just make it out. You're going to have to bear with me. It's, it's covered in beans because oh. it's threw in a bin. Um, 183... Yep. Five seven five. Yep. Four oh six, I think. Let's have a look. We'll find out then. Uh, can I take your name, please? Yeah, my name's Kerry. Kerry. Just Kerry. What's your, what's your surname? Uh, I don't have one. Okay. What's what's the surname? So you've received a letter from us. What's the surname on the letter? Though? Surname you, you on the letter one? is. Okay. Uh, Sorry, just just, uh, just confused me a little bit with saying that you don't have a surname. Well, what, what, no one, no one I know has ever called me. No one goes, "Oh, Kerry, Graham, what are you doing?" Do you mean everyone goes, "Oh, Kerry, what are you up to?" I understand that, but is Kerry Graham actually your your given name at birth? Uh at, at birth, yeah, that name was forced upon me without my consent. Yeah. Right. Uh, so, what's the first line of your address and your postcode then? Uh, the address given on the letter is fifty-five. And the postcode? I can't make out the postcode. It's covered in beans. Oh, so, sorry. Is do you not the, the address that we sent the letter? Yeah. Is that not your postcode, though? Do you not know your postcode? Yeah, I know my postcode. Yeah, but um, am I obliged to give it? I've given you my name, your own reference number, and the and the address. No, I understand that. It's just uh, for security reason. We need, do need to confirm your postcode as well and your date of birth to be able to proceed. Right. Well, the, I, I, I may be a little off. This letter, is, I pulled it out of the bin to give you a ring. Um, is the given okay. postcode on the letter. All right. And what's your, what's your date of birth? Uh, my alleged date of birth is the 23rd of the 2nd, 81. How, how do you mean alleged date of birth, sorry? Um, well, obviously, I was a baby at the time. I was a minute old. Um, so, obviously, like, you know, I got my birth certificate to go off. But, you know, anything else you use, it's you say, you know, I, I can't factually say. I had no concept of time and date when I was one minute old, do you mean? Oh, yeah, I suppose, yeah, I get it from, from what you're saying there. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, so the uh, the reference number you gave me then has brought up a former 3G mobile account. Okay? Yeah, I can see that. Uh, yeah, now, as we've not spoken to you, though, in regards to this matter, uh, I do want to just update some information. Uh, yeah. I'll run through all the options that you have yeah. available to you, and then you can decide what you want to do going forward. Okay? Yeah, that's great, yeah. All right. Uh, now, as we've not spoken to you because we've not had any contact telephone numbers, do you have a home telephone number at all? I don't, no. Uh, what about a mobile number? Uh, no. No. Do you have an email address? No. You don't. Okay. And uh, <laughs> are, you renting the, are you renting the property you're living in? Um, am I obliged to give that information? Well, no, it's just so we have a better understanding of your situation, that's all. Well, no comment. Okay, and are you working at the moment? No comment. All right. Okay, so this uh, this former 3G mobile account, then, it was purchased by our client, Lowell Portfolio were Limited, and has a current balance of £460.26. Now, that's inclusive of costs and fees, and the reason for the costs and fees is because there was a judgment by default very recently entered on the 9th of this month. And the reason for that is there was no response to the claim form when it was sent out by the courts on the 5th of September. Now, did you receive a claim form in the post from the courts last month at all? Uh, I Should have come from the Northampton County Court Business Centre. I can't remember, to be honest. Most most bills I get, I just throw them in the bin. Okay, so at that point, though, you don't remember opening it? No, all, I don't remember opening it. No. All right. Uh, so, as uh, for whatever reason, there was no response to the claim form. It does mean that a county court judgment by default has now been entered yeah. onto your credit profile. Now, I need to make you aware that it could now stay there for six years and could have an impact on your obtaining credit, yeah. such as loans, credit cards, things like that, and working in certain industries as well, such as the financial industry. Yeah. Now, failure to maintain payments in line with the court order could also result in further action, such as a bailiff warrant, which 
may include further costs and fees. Now, as a judgment was entered by default, you are fully entitled, if you wish to seek independent legal advice, either from a solicitor or free from the Citizens Advice Bureau. Yeah. Okay? Now, the courts themselves, when the judgment was entered, did put an instalment amount of £50 per month in place to clear off the balance over time. Yeah. Now, do you feel that, do you, feel that you can afford £50 per month to pay the balance off? Um, can I uh, just stop you there? Just reverse a little bit. All right. Okay, so this uh, this former free G Mobile account, then, it was purchased by our client, Now Portfolio were Limited, and has a current balance of £460.26. Yeah? Um, where you say, uh, was it 3G, the original lender, 3G? Yes. Um, and then the debt was purchased by Lowell Portfolio, is that right? That's correct, yes. Yeah. So, um, the money that was owing to 3Mobile, allegedly, um, has been paid by Lowell Portfolio. Um, so, what, what, what debt is actually owing? Well, the balance as it stands today is £460.26. Where'd you get that number as from, though? Well, because it's been through the courts, we've had to pay the courts to process the county court judgment. Right. Now... I do, I do need to make you aware, though, as the judgment has just been entered, if the balance is cleared in full within one calendar month, it could then avoid the county court judgment from being registered onto your credit profile over the next six years. Right. Okay, but that gives you up until the 9th of next month to be able to pay that off in full. Now, uh, the original balance uh, was for airtime debt uh, for £327.09. So when the contract has been fully built up to the closure, it did deem that you were, you'd were you overused the contract. So yeah. when they've built the account up to date, they've said that you owed them £327.09. And then because we didn't receive any contact in regards to any letters that we were sending, it has now gone through the courts, and that's where the increased balance comes from. Right. Did you um I did you miss what I had just said? In regards to Right. So as you've just said there was around three hundred pound owing to three mobile, which was purchased by Lowell Portfolio. Right, yes. So the debt has been paid. Um, my question to you was did Lowell Portfolio check with myself? if I was willing to pay you back? Because you're a third party and I've got no contract with you. Uh, well, the thing is, it's not in regards to the contract. Uh, by law, 3G Mobile can sell an outstanding debt to yeah. another company, and then they now own that debt. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, in regards to... I mean, you will be in contact. The letter will have gone out to you from 3G Mobile and Lowell Portfolio Unlimited, yeah. letting you know that the ownership of the debt has been transferred over. Yeah. Okay. Now, in regards to whether or not you wanted that to happen, if you had have contacted 3G Mobile before that instance, you would have been able to come to a payment arrangement with them. But because yeah. they didn't receive any contact, then it's just led them to uh, to sell the debt on. Right. But do you understand what I'm saying to you? Um. There was a debt for three. It has been paid and bought by Lowell Portfolio. The debt now stands and is, as by your own admission, is owned by Lowell Portfolio, who me That's myself correct. have no contract with to pay back. Right, so in, 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 you're saying that you're not going to be paying this account? What I'm saying... Do you know what contract law is? Do I know what, sorry? Contract law. Do you know what it is? I've got a vague understanding of contract law, yeah. Yeah, it's, um, you know, stop me if I'm wrong. Um, it needs to be a, a signed affidavit, a piece of paper, a, you know, a legal document signed by two human beings, not legal companies, uh, my name and, say, your name, two actual people written in pen. That's for a business to take payment from a person... It requires a contract. There is no contract between myself and Lowell Portfolio. So this, the CCJ itself is completely unlawful. Um, if you would like, if you want to proceed with it, you know, feel free. But there will be, there will be a hefty charge if I get any negative, negative marks on my credit, uh, credit report. 
Um, well, that, that's, re- that's the reason why I said, obviously, you can seek your own independent legal advice. I, uh, I am myself. Uh, I, I represent myself in all cases. I am my own lawful advisor. All right, well, I mean, at that case, then, I mean, you can obviously challenge this through the courts, but it is something that you need to do at your own time and expense, unfortunately. Okay, but as a judgment has been entered, the courts themselves have said that you are liable for that balance. Yeah. So if you do believe that you have any legal foothold in regards to whether or not this account could have been sold, that is something that you'd need to then challenge through the courts yourself. But with the judgment in place, failure to maintain payments, or if we don't receive any payment towards the court order, it could then receive... Uh, could lead to a bailiff warrant being issued right. and further costs and fees being added to the account. But as I say, if you do want to go away and uh, obviously look to, to challenge this, that is something that you are entitled to do. Right, the thing is, the letter I've had has not been sent by a court. It's been uh, sent by Law Solicitors Limited. Um, right, well, it's court, actually, actually, it's court, it's actually signed Law Solicitors. It's signed Law Solicitors. Can I speak to him, please, or her? Right, that's just the signature that goes on the letter. It's just right, off right, right. Stamp. So, so you've got a business here, a registered business, signing, <laughs> signing, <laughs> signing a bill sent out to someone illegally, which is fraud. Do you know that? If, if that's what you believe, then as I say, you can obviously. <laughs> this is law. It, this means. is this is fact and law. This is not what I believe. Uh, I'm not. I'm not. No, I'm not I'm trying a... to give you a hard time either. I'm not. I'm. I'm debating no, this. No, I... No, I mean, no, you've been uh, more than open and honest, and uh, as I say, it's, it's just not obviously something that I'm going to start going down and, and discussing. That's our letters, that's what's sent out. Yeah, I know, uh, you can get in a bit of trouble if you, check, if you uh, engage yeah, in this conversation too deeply with me. I know you can get in trouble yourself. So, um, is there an email address I can take for you guys, and then I can say, what well, it is, right, what I'm going to, you know, if I'm due to pay this bill, I will, but I'm going to record, a call's recorded your end. They are, yeah. They are. Right, um, so for and on the record, I, I am happy to settle any uh, amount of money that oh, in, you know, if, I, if I actually do owe money. But what I'm going to require is proof of claim, which is validation of the debt, which would be the actual accounting showing... Um, let me just check. The accounting showing either three mobile or low portfolios, actual losses, if any. I'll need to see verification of your claim against me in the form of a sworn affidavit or a hand-signed invoice. That would be in accordance with the Bill of Exchange Act 1882. I'd also need a copy of the contract signed by both parties, therefore binding both parties to the agreement. Um, This is going to be forwarded over to email. And if I don't get a reply in 14 days, the notice to these terms, the debt is in fact either invalid, did not exist, or has already been settled in full. Any damages I suffer, you will be held culpable. Any negative verbal or written remarks to a credit reference agency will be removed and a stopple will result. Do you understand? Uh, in, so in regards to, obviously, we, we can, if you email So do you understand uh, what I just reset, said to you? Yeah, I do understand everything you've just said. So <laughs> in regards to uh, that then, uh, obviously, we will send out the, uh, the confirmation that yeah. the account was assigned. Uh, in regards to uh, the contract between 3G and Lowell Portfolio One Limited, that's not something that legally we need to give you. That's uh, a, p- a private document between both companies. Uh, but we will get the notice of assignment sent out to you. That's absolutely fine if you email that in. Yeah. In regards to being unenforceable, uh, it has now gone through the courts. So when we sent you the... Uh, the copy of the notice of assignment. Yeah. The, the, the county court judgment will still stand at that point. Yeah. And as I say, if uh, if a, a compromise can be agreed in regards to a payment arrangement to pay the balance off, we will still be open to that. But as I say, it's just if we don't receive any contact or any payments towards the account, obviously we're not looking to to issue a daily warrant out, but it could get leads to that line, and that could include further costs and fees to yourself. Okay. Yeah. Uh, now, yeah. Yeah. I hear uh, what you're saying. Uh, yeah, uh, but obviously, if you do email in, uh, then obviously, and if, especially the request of notice of assignment, we will get that out to you. Yeah. Uh, in regards to uh, the purchase of the debt, as that is a private contract between 3G Mobile and Lowell Portfolio One Limited, that's not something that we will be providing for you. I don't, I don't want any info. Now. You, you know, you've just said yourself, you've got a private contract between uh, Three and Lowell. Lowell have bought the debt from Three. Um, <laughs> nothing to do with me, as far as I'm concerned. Um, I'm just going to read you some quick uh, terms and conditions. Um, these are re- uh, relating to the property of 50. 50-
um, this is a notice of removed of implied right of access. So it means any employee, principal agent, third party or representative or any other person acting on behalf or under the instruction of your company, Her Majesty's Court Service or any other corporate body, um, this will apply with common law jurisdiction. I, um, I will not consent to you being anywhere on my property or interfering in my affairs at all. This is for and on the record. You have been served this notice, okay? Okay, yeah, that's fine. And can I just take an email to get it all done over writing as well? Uh, yeah, so just so you know, you've been speaking, sir. Um, Seven zero eight eight. I will put in a good That's word great. to be honest, Craig. I'll say you've been very helpful because you have. You've you've been great. A lot of people like to argue. You have been quite polite. As I say, I mean, there is always so much I can do in regards to uh, some of these. Yeah, things. man. I understand. Well, You're just doing you know, the job, man. At the end of the day, you got this is your job, isn't it? Um, That's it. Uh, but, so, but as I say, I mean, obviously, you can challenge this yourself. Yeah. At any point, uh, but. Uh, as a judgment's been entered, it is something that you need to do at your own time and expense. Yeah, if you brilliant. were looking That's to, fine. Uh, to, go, to go back through the courts and try and uh, prove your case. Uh, but yeah, I've, I've made a note, obviously, to, we've discussed this, as uh, you will be emailing in uh, yes. to request the notice of assignment. Uh, can I take the email, please? Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, so it's just help. Help. At Lowell Solicitors. Uh, Lowell. Dot .co.uk Low solicitors one word is it? Oh, oh one word yeah, yeah. solicitors with, a, with an S uh, so it's not Lowell solicitor it's Lowell, Lowell solicitor solicitors with, at, with an at S what did you say? Uh, so it's help at lowellsolicitors.co.uk .co.uk .co.uk alright that's brilliant thank you very much you've been a great help alright alright enjoy your evening and you cheers mate bye cheers bye